Hey guys, salut, it's episode 2 of the Chef Knife Makeover and today we are making a custom Chef Knife Handle. This is my Chef Knife Makeover. How to customize a Chef Knife, new design, new shape, new handle, new edge and of course, new style. To catch a specific episode, hit the link. Viewers discretion is advised. In this series, we are using dangerously sharp and stupidly powerful tools. So, would you ever want to use your fingers or your eyes in the future? Wear pro pro protections. So, in the previous episode, I told you about the key ingredients to make a good knife. We choose a good knife base to work on it, and also uh, I did some nice shape corrections. So a chef knife's handle is basically like a sandwich. Let me show you. You see outside you've got those scales and inside you've got the tang or the blade. Everything is held together with epoxy glue, like a very strong glue, and also with metal pins. One of my best knife. It's a simple uh, Japanese knife. When you say simple Japanese knife, you know it's not simple. Oh, wow. Disassembling the knife. I did it very quickly in the previous episode, but here's how to do it step by step. Insert a flat solid thing and using a leverage action, pop those sides off. You see those rust stains, it's not good. Like for all good cheap knives, the blade can be decent but the handle will always suck. Sanding. So I am cleaning the blade with fine sanding paper and also getting rid of all those writings. Oh! Now that's why they don't want to sponsorize this video. Oh, it's a shame. Anyway, drilling. My metal pins will be made out of this 5mm brass rod. Problem, my blade has 4mm holes. Solution, you need a metal drill bit, not 5mm exactly, but more like 5.5mm, so that glue will also have room afterwards. If you have a drill press, that's the best case scenario. But if not, just be patient, strongly secure the blade, stay vertical, apply some pressure, but not too much, go slow. And if you do all that, then you won't break the drill bit. Oh fuck. So the reason why I'm struggling so much is that my blade is tempered. I mean it's almost as hard as my drill bit. Like real metal workers, like proper ones, would definitely remove the temper first before working on a blade. But me, I'm just a punk. So if you need more infos, I'll share them down below. Finally, I'm using a file to make it smooth, flat and to get rid of any shards. Right, so this studio update is about light. I want to give you guys a quick tour of my lighting system here in the studio. Everything is set up so that I can shoot a video in no time. You have this center light pole, you see? It's brightening the whole room. And then, and then on the edges, you've got those lines of lights. So perhaps I should specify that I did all those uh, mounting on the wall and also all the electrical... Uh... So those fluorescent tubes are Philips Graphica 950. They are specific to high color rendering, which is critical whenever you cook food and you want your viewers you, to be, you know, um, tempted by the food. And that is for this studio update. Scales. You can make scales out of many materials, but I'm choosing oak wood because it's nice, available, hard, durable, and quite cheap. I bought a one meter strip of 27 per nine millimeters at my local hardware store for about three bucks. Cut two pieces to the length of the previous handle. Now tape those together with the blade sitting on top. 
drill them with the previous metal drill bit. Drilling hole this way allows for a better alignment. Not the best, but a better one. Gluing. The strength of epoxy glue is no joke. So before moving forward, give it a quick test, assemble it, and make sure everything runs smoothly. Good? Is the window open? Nice, ready to go. The glue will set in less than five minutes, which is way more than enough if you are prepared, but definitely too short to get any problems during action. Prepare epoxy glue following instruction on package, then apply a nice coating on one scale, add pins, spread more glue, then the blade, spread more glue, then the second scale. Tighten it as much as you can with clamps and let it dry. Shaping. Cut off the excess metal pins and now remove the excess wood material. Go slow. If you go too fast, you'll mess up with the shape and it's gonna be too late. Instead, enjoy that moment of sculpting. Finish it. Oh, I have to say it. Finish him! Give it a quick sanding action just to make it really smooth and then finish it with a coating of oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil, that's a true story, because at the end of the day I'm just a stupid cook. But if you have tongue or linseed oil or even danish or wood wax, just use that instead. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy this series and this project. And if you do, give it a like, thumbs up, and share that over your social media, spread it like butter. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel because next episode will be about how to tattoo your blade. <laughs> if you want to see something completely different, then watch this vlog, this food vlog or vlog, as I call them, I made in London. Take care guys, bye bye. Salut.